Crocodile Dundee, is a 1986 action comedy, set in the Australian outback and in New York City. It stars Paul Hogan as fearless crocodile hunter, Mick Dundee, and American actress Linda Kozlowski, as charming reporter Sue Charlton. The film was made on a budget of under $10 million, as a deliberate attempt to make a commercial Australian film, that would appeal to a mainstream American audience, but proved to be a worldwide phenomenon. In this video, we will learn about 10 most interesting things about Crocodile Dundee. So get the popcorn and a drink of your choice ready. The show is about to begin. During an interview in 2001, Paul Hogan objected to the assumption, that there was a real Crocodile Dundee. He assured the interviewer that there was not, and that the idea for the character, came from his own head. Hogan admitted that on a trip to New York, he felt like a complete fish out of water and the idea began to form in his head. However some believe that Crocodile Dundee is based on the life of a hunter, who famously survived seven weeks in the wild, while stranded in a remote corner of northern Australia. When he came to Sydney to talk about his adventure, he appeared on a TV interview barefoot and stayed in a luxury hotel, where he slept on the floor and was mystified by the bidet. The Sydney Harbour Bridge, is shown in the beginning of the movie, from the hotel window, while Sue is on the phone to New York. Paul Hogan helped paint this bridge, before he started his life as an actor, and was said to have kept his co-workers laughing a good bit of the time. Crocodile Dundee, was the second highest grossing film of 1986. Platoon, was the third biggest film of the year, with Top Gun, coming in first. It took $177 million in the US alone, and $353 million worldwide. The quotes around Crocodile in the title, were added for the American release, to ensure people didn't think that Dundee was a crocodile. Melissa Joan Hart, originally appeared in the film, as a little girl in Central Park, whose cut on her knee gets healed by Mick. The scene was shot but ultimately deleted. Famous art film director, Ingmar Bergman owned a VHS copy of Crocodile Dundee. It was revealed to be part of his film collection. Paul Hogan believes, that the people in the USA, saw his character as a cross between Chuck Norris and Rambo. At one time in the early 1990s, Paramount was considering a crossover sequel, with one of its other big 1980s franchises, Crocodile Dundee meets Beverly Hills Cop. Eddie Murphy did not like this idea. Linda Kozlowski, the lone American, during the Australian portion of the shoot, was a Juilliard classmate of actor Val Kilmer, who before the film appeared on Broadway, with Dustin Hoffman in Death of a Salesman. The wilderness section of the movie was shot in Kakadu, a national park roughly the size of Germany. The only crocodile Hogan and Kozlowski ever tangled with was the mechanical croc built for the film. Crocodile was so realistic looking, that someone reported the crew to the authorities, as suspected poachers. Crocodile Dundee, made Kakadu into a popular tourist attraction. The film's success prompted developers to build a hotel there shaped like a crocodile.